Okay, my name is Akashi guys and in this video here we're going to be touching on a very very necessary conversation because with the festival coming up there's going to be a lot of discussion on what value what units are more valuable than others so with this being said i put up a poll you've already read the town thumbnail so i'm not addressing it i'm going to address it in a sec though but i put up a poll on my channel and it's basically talking about whether ultras or legends limited characters are more valuable and with the poll you guys gave your opinion i'll put it on the screen right now and by far legends limited were more valuable valuable in the eyes of the majority of you guys but I'm here to give the pros and cons and maybe if you couldn't make a strong opinion or maybe with the pros that I give for one side you might actually switch over it's all down to you at the end of the day and for you to decide what you want to summon on but with that being said we're going to get into the video now so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video if you haven't already make sure to press the subscribe button man we are on this grind to 40,000 subscribers recently hit 30,000 subscribers and we're already at 31.5k or something like that at the time i'm recording this video so all the love and support i appreciate it man it means the world to me because without you guys i'm not i'm not i can't do this so um yeah all my social media links are going to be on the bottom of the screen. It's the YouTube channel. We've got a Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. So make sure to check me out on all of those. I also want to say that I live stream every single day. People need to know that I live stream every single day because it's the best place to ask me anything. So if you want to ask me a question, pop in, in the live stream. You might have to ask me the question maybe more than once or twice. But if you pop in and just say hi, I'd actually appreciate it a lot because people don't be popping in. People be watching, but they don't be saying anything as well. So yeah just so you guys know i stream every day and twice on the weekends 9 p.m to 11 p.m gmt but yeah i'm holding you guys up too much right now let's actually get into the video now all right so i feel like the first thing we should do is actually start with legend limited and uh simply because they've been in the game longer and they're like the, the they're not a new rare rarity so just so you guys are aware legends limited is its own thing down here right so you can see legend limited but it's not in the rarity section so it's very possible that maybe one time in the future we could get an Ultra Legend Limited or an Extreme Legend Limited or a Hero Legend Limited. But what we get right now are Sparking Legend Limited and that's obviously all of them. We don't have any Legend Limited of every, any other kind. So I want to put out just straight away the fact that it's literally just a Sparking at the moment. The potential for there to be Ultra Legend Limited will just make LL characters the best <laughs> just off that. But if we're not doing that, Let's get into actual reasons as to what uh, would actually make Legend Limited better than Ultras. So the first thing I want to touch on outside of the point I just mentioned before is the fact that Legends Limited characters, they drop more often. So in the anniversary, we've got two. In the festival, we usually get two as well. So the fact that you have a lot of them, it, they drop every single month pretty much. And on occasion, we get two in different places. Um, it's very, very valuable for your box, especially if they're dropping consistent tags. It does take your Chrono Crystals, however, if we look at the run we've had right now, so right now, since Kula, we had Kula, literally right before that, with uh, before Super Saiyan Trunks and Ultra Vegito, we literally got Dragon Fist and Tapion. After Kula though, we got Ultra Broly, you can skip that because we're on the Legend Limited side right now, but then right there after that, we got LF Beast Gohan and with LFs, with the way the featured boost system works, because we're getting them more often, they're more likely to be dominant units. They're not always going to have the best kit, but they'll be what would be the meta, at least at that, simply because they're getting boosted if they're not even the best. So that's something to put into account because we do get more of them. So I feel like that just makes them better off rip. Um, <laughs> if they come more, you're more likely to use them. So yeah. Another thing that should definitely be pointed out is the fact that they come with a pity system. So at the moment, at the time I'm making this video, we have Beast Gohan, the most current LF unit in the game. Uh, looks very nice with the layout that I have on my screen. It's new, by the way. Let me know what you guys think. But with the pity system, even though some people think it's trash, it's actually just very beneficial in my opinion. Uh, if we look at the superhero exchange shop uh, we have here, if you don't pull him so many times to the point you get 50 coins, you can get a free copy. Now, two stars is not good. However, it's better than not having them at all, especially for guys that collect. If we look at the Z power as well, the Z power, you can actually summon, you get your coins. If you're satisfied with the stars that you got, 
or you don't even want to go in anymore you can collect these z powers and then you can use them on any unit so you're not even just restricted to the banning units you can use them on any other legend limited unit and the fact that there's actually just legend limited z power on its own that also is another factor so this is like two points in one but let's get into the legend limited z power if we go into the items the multi z power very very useful the fact that there's legend limited ones uh is there a setting i can turn on for it there's not unfortunately but we can scroll down you got the 600s here we just talked about them how to get only in the pity system shops so it's just very useful there's the other kinds as well if i can find them my eyes are bugging this one you rarely get them there's no ways to get them of course but occasionally just the fact that it exists is very useful the 200s pity system very valuable just the fact that you can put these e-powers into anybody if i have any i don't have any unfortunately there's the hundreds as well i didn't speak about them but i can't see it there is my eyes were just bugging this you can get in the great weekend shop so it's very valuable as well legend limit z power is just it just makes it bad to actually star up your units now a little comparison here against the ultras with these units you don't necessarily have to use them on the leader slot to get the most out of them if you're using them on a different team so you would know that certain tags cross over. So I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna use a unit here for example. Let's use just Beast Gohan, he's the first guy that keeps catching my eye. He doesn't have an ultra ability. So with just his Z ability, that's what he spreads around to the team if he's leader or even if they share the same tags that's available in the Z ability, that's fine on its own. However, if I go to ultra right, um, I'd have to take off Legend Limited just so I can show you with any of these ultras so for example ultra super video works very well as a unit he has an ultra ability and to get the max you either have to put him on leader which it says if character here is on the leader you have to put him on leader to get these 30 percent of both or you have to be using a whole team of fusion warriors which means that you have five other units that are fusion warriors and for every five you get five percent and five plus seven in the whole team i said seven six in the whole team makes 30 percent so that's very very good but it's the cap of the fact that you have to have the specific tag and if i wanted to use usb on another team i would have to uh, put him on the leader slot and i lose out on potentially having somebody else in the leader slot in this case for example let me use ultra super goji he's a movies unit so he flexes more well with uh, beast gohan that i use for example but ultra super video doesn't obviously because he's just a super saiyan and a fusion warrior he doesn't share the movies correlation but even then, you'd still have to put USG on the on the leader slot to get the most out of his um, ultra ability. So you're losing out buffs to maximize what they can do. Uh, Legend limit characters are not held back by that in any way, sense, shape, or form. Simply because you don't need to think about it at all. You just put them on, and as long as the team shares the, the tags, then you're fine. But the leader slot thing to get the max out of an ultra unit does hold them back just a tiny bit. It's not that big of a difference, but the difference is still there. And that could be the difference between you killing somebody in a battle or like not killing them so want to point that out this one's a little subjective yeah however i will have to say that legends limit characters just have bare animations in total i'm actually fed up fed up of the ultra animations and i'm not talking about the arts cards i'm talking about the actual playing animations so the strike arts the blast arts and all of the rest of those strike arts now and then you get different ones but the blast arts it seems really stiff the animation seems really stiff and even then, they don't have like a major finish, so the ultimate arts could seem a bit lackluster in some cases. Maybe that's just me. Like I said, it's a bit subjective, maybe because we don't have a lot. But to me, their general, general playstyle with all of the arts cards seems a bit stale. It's like they put a lot less effort into it, maybe because it's, it takes a lot more effort to actually just build an ultra unit with everything else they do. But of course, that's just an opinion more than anything else. But I'm sure the majority of you guys will agree anyways. Now I'm going to gas up my ultras a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to say is that ultras come in free to play forms. Now, I know someone's already responding. These free to plays are trash. However, on release, they get boosted and they will have a big impact on the meta. You will never, never see, and I don't believe you will see, a free Legends Limited Ultra. And I, I mean, Legends Limited Sparking, sorry. So I'm not just talking about, for example, Beast Gohan. He was even free once you get one copy of him but that's not free you already need your copy and you just get a tiny bit of z power afterwards you can get free ones of these and the free to plays are not bad on release now these three here have aged terribly 
but on release it's a very much interesting experience to see how they work especially because they're specifically built to optimize one team like this guy for example let me look at him if we go to the ultra ability you can find out exactly what he's meant to work with so saying you can see that if we go to Vegeta, we do the same thing with him optimize specifically one team freezer saga cool omega shenron you can already guess what team he fits on that's gt just the fact that is a free to play version of them is also very good for people to actually just have something new legend limited you might not have a lot enough cc's to get the pity system so just the fact that you get something for free and it's very fancy looking it's nice and neat it's new content and people are happy about that definitely the free to plays will have a bigger opinion on this more than anything else but i've done a poll in the past and a lot of people said uh we should actually still get free to play ultras simply because it gives free to plays content so that's an opinion gathered from you guys i didn't make that one up now this one is my biggest 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 point for ultras over lfs legends limited and i have to say that they're almost guaranteed to be a top three unit if a summonable ultra drops you guys see that top row alongside broly who i don't have usg do i even have to talk about him it's been 10 months and people still can't keep up with him come on bro ultra super video fair enough he got crept up by cooler mui was around the corner and now pans here all these reds just coming into boom yellows however this guy is a monster and still holds up even type disadvantage still up there as a very good unit maybe not so much now because of beast gohan and whatnot but when he released you knew what it was kyle ken do i even have to talk about how infinitely annoying he was with his card seals and everything else he can do to extend the combo come on man and even though broly did not have the same impact on his release straight away he is the only unit that can easily defend against beast gohan's combos in terms of his defenses and his gauge is annoying as hell when it fills because you're not going to have your vanish no more so just staying off that the summonable ultras are almost guaranteed but if we look at the legends limited characters just to make a quick comparison we have a lot of lfs who have been kind of just dead on release so let's look at the king of the third anniversary Personally, if you had him high stars, I think he was all right, but we can all agree he's not what LF should have been for the anniversary. Let's go for another one here. MUI. People just felt he was lackluster. He's an anniversary unit, but he's more so just annoying in terms of his gliding. The fact that he has the old docker back, he is dumb, it's crap. But again, people felt like he was a disappointment. Let's talk about Bardock over here. Don't know what they were cooking there, but he looks good, I guess. Jiren over here. You never know what you're going to get, really. Is this going to be a best unit in the game, or is it going to be just some crappy fodder that you're never going to touch? There's a lot of units that come out that are trash as uh, LFs, but with the Ultras, usually nobody can keep up with them when they're summonable anyways. And I feel like that's a big thing to consider when deciding which one you want to go for. Another very valuable point now this does come with the fact that it doesn't have a pity system the banner does not have a pity system for any summonable ultra so if you don't pull them you're just unlucky and you have to deal with it there's no way around it however the rates of pulling an ultra are higher so with every ultra that you pull every copy is 2000 z power at a base level thank god right now in the game the kyle ken banner is in the game so i can actually show you you can see even though this is a rerun, it's 2000 Z power for every ultra pool that you get of Kaioken. And that's for every summonable ultra. I feel that's a very big important factor because in my experience anyways, I can't speak for everybody. If you do pull the ultras, and I do always pull them in the ones that I've summoned for, I didn't touch Broly, so don't, don't try pulling him out. I didn't even spend one CC on him. For the ones that I've pulled anyways, it's much easier because you only need to pull them five times to get them for 14 stars. With that being said, the rates are lower. They're not higher. However, for the ones that you do pull, you will already be at a substantial amount. I believe it's like five. Then uh, let me just look at the thing. I'm not going to do the maths. I'm not going to do the maths. So you get the first 2,000. So you're at five. Then you go to 4,000. So you're at eight. Then you go to 6,000. So you're at, uh, I think, 
think that's 10, 8,000, 12, and then 14 stars. Five pools just like that, easy. But with LFs, you get your occasional, now they do two times rates every time the banner drops. Two times 20% and um, 1,200 Z power. However, after a short amount of time, I believe it's like 20 days at max, maybe something around there, it turns into a regular banner with the 600 Z power pools and the rates go down. So it kind of forces you to spend straight away with the fact that ultras don't do that and they rerun more frequently maybe that's just because at the moment we don't have a lot but you can just expect to rerun you don't need to be desperate and the banners are going to have the same amount of z power that it had when it dropped for example like i just said every 2000 that's one copy of ultra kyle ken that's five stars off rip just for one copy beast gohan one copy of him that's only three stars if it's double the z power with the exception of the festival banner on occasion where they did that three times the power thing even though that's only happened once that was a big dub but that's occasional you're not gonna wait for the whole year just suffering just for one banner at the end of the year unless you don't really care about the game and you just care about collecting but yeah my opinion in the terms of the z power the ultras definitely got it if you want to argue against with the rates that's fine but i give it to the um the ultras for the z power because that's that's clutch man last point about the ultras then i'm going to summarize what i think is more valuable generally speaking the ultras just have better art cards man they look so beautiful like look at this why is all the flares coming into my face this is this is art and then you see all of this come on man goku and vegeta doing the fusing then it's, it's literally the same thing in the movie like the flames come on man that is fire let's move on to the next one let's, let's just do the summonables so even Kao Ken here, the way he goes blue, when people saw the feet, they thought it was MUI, but I knew it wasn't because it's blue. Um, this is heat. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is fire, man. That is heat. Super Vigio. I don't need to explain that these are better art cards than the Legend Limited characters because they put so much more effort into the sketch and everybody loves it. The intros here, very, very beautiful. It's a better aesthetic that ultras bring and i'm probably just gassing it up you can say as well it's subjective of course it is but i feel like it'll just be dumb to try and say that legends limits just have better arts because they just take less effort off rip that like, look at this this is art right here a whole animation just to see their art card beautiful man and i feel like that makes it a lot more worth it when you get them especially when you're summoning for them and you get the different orb the most powerful orb in the game common man don't tell me that isn't like a it's a it's a it's a breath of fresh air because you don't see it more uh, all the time with lfs you get the same animation for every single sparking but again it's a subjective point but i want to just point it out because i feel like it's something to be considered now to conclude the video with my summary i would have to say in general in general i would say ultras generally have more value for what we'll bring to your team and you can predict them so because they don't drop them every often and totally literally said we're getting one every like three months or four months you can expect one and the odds are it's going to be a big character because they're always fancy you saw the arts cards so with that being said you can expect a dominant unit that you can quickly just build on and the banner would be fixed around that unit of course with the sub the side banner units so you can actually just build one team off the ultra banners even though it's harder to actually pull the ultras in the case you get some you get lucky pulling them i have to say with the ultras it's beautiful and you're guaranteed to have a good unit on your team which you don't get with legends limited characters however however with legends limited units they come more frequently and you can't just wait around sitting for an lf with that being said lfs generally just have more value and they build up more of your team you can't just have one ultra and think you're going to be good you're going to need other people around that unit so the lfs generally speaking will be more valuable but ultras tend to dominate the game when they come out and i feel like that's what put, gives them the edge for me but i understand for you, for a lot of people especially with the poll they see that um legend limits are just better all around also i want to say that if you have the choice of picking one so you can only have a legend limited or the ultra in the scenario the polar asked is for the festival if you could only summon on one so they're going to drop probably two lfs at least and they're also going to drop an ultra if you could only summon on the lfs or the ultras it would make more sense to summon on the lfs because you get more options more odds more characters you can't just survive off the one ultra it's not realistic so in that sense 
it makes sense to actually pick the LFs, of course. And I agree with that viewpoint 100%. But again, it's all down to what you want to pick, whatever you want to do. If you like the Ultras more, that's down to you. If you like the LFs more, that's down to you. The legendary finishes are beautiful, I have to say. But the Arts cards and the Ultras, they do go it as well. It's, it's hard. It's not easy. But I feel like that's all the points and it's down to you guys to make your opinion. But yeah, man, I'm going to leave the video like that. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Just a little discussion video. It's a lot of fun to do these, in my opinion. Especially breaking it down the way I have and then putting all the points together to actually formulate your opinion. But let me know what you guys think. Press the subscribe button. We're on this grind to 40,000 subscribers. All my social media links are going to be on the bottom of the screen. This is the YouTube channel, but we've got a Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. So make sure to check me out on all of those. But yeah, man, I'm going to leave it like that. I appreciate you guys for watching. My name is Akashi, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one, man.